boy, this book has really given me a run for my money. This is William Gibson's Neuromancer. Hi, I'm Michael Everts, and this is my channel, Fit to be Read. I know a lot of folks have difficulty reading this book because a lot of the terminology is hard to grasp. Some of it, like cyberspace and matrix, are words that we've heard before, but in the book it means something a little bit different, and that can confuse us a lot. I put this video together today because I think it can help you to get into the book quicker and understand a little bit more about what's going on. It's a really great book. I'm almost done, and it's gotten really, really exciting towards the end, but I'm really enjoying it because I understand it more than I did for probably the first 100 pages. I know a lot of people read this book and they're 100 pages in and they still don't know what's going on. In science fiction, there's a lot of times where I'll read books or we'll read books and we accept that there are alien terms or technologies that we've never heard of before because they're invented by the mind of the author, but we tend to eventually figure it out. That's not the case in this book. I don't know about you, but I needed a little bit of extra help. So today I'm gonna give a few tips. The first tip is when you're reading the book, and I prefer reading the book rather than listening to an audio tape, I will always choose to read a book over listening to an audio tape. But what I'll do is I'll read a few chapters first, and then I'll go back and I'll listen to the audio tape, preferably spoken by the author. So if you listen to William Gibson, read the same chapters that you just read, but you hear the inflections in his voice, it's a little bit easier to understand which character is saying what and what's going on, and maybe even picking up some of the terms. That's the first thing that I did. The second thing that I did was I would go online and I would research. A simple Google search is gonna take you to LitNotes or Schnoop or one of these other sites where it's more of an educational slant and they'll explain to you or summarize what happened in that chapter without giving away what's gonna happen in the rest of the book. LitNotes has been one of the best at that. So again, I'll read a few chapters, then I'll go back and I'll look at the LitNotes and then that'll explain to me Am I right about what I thought happened? Will it confirm it? Or is there something that I missed that I didn't pick up? A third one is to come up with your own glossary. What are the terms that keep coming up that you just don't understand? For me, it was terms like Hosaka, Deck, Jock Boy, uh, uh, Joe Boy rather, uh, Coffin, Bama. Whenever I see Bama and they're talking in, a, in relationship to a location, I'm just thinking Alabama and I'm like, that can't be right. So, you know, Bama is the stretch. It's also known as the, um, let's see, I have a note here. We also have, Bama is also known as the sprawl. I saw both of those words, and so I wasn't realizing that they were talking about the same thing, and that just confused me. Same thing with deck or Hosaka. Sometimes we're calling it Hosaka. Sometimes we're calling it deck. It's the same thing. The deck is what the individual uses to access cyberspace. In the description of this video, I'm gonna do a whole list of about maybe 12 to 15 words that I think would be really helpful for you to have definitions to going in. And I think just knowing those 12 words or terms is gonna help you to have a better understanding and a better flow to your reading. So create your own glossary, look up those terms, uh, just go on Google and you can type Neuromancer and then the term and you're gonna find a definition for it. It makes it so much easier to read. They kept talking about Case going to his coffin and I thought, what in the world is going on here? And you could, some people I might read this and, and distinguish that a coffin is really just a room he's going to and he has two of them, one where he kind of stays and, and catches a nap or another one where he keeps his stuff and it's just a really small room. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. Or Joe Boy, that was pretty easy to figure out that those were, were henchmen. Cyberspace, however, I think about cyberspace and I'm thinking about going online and getting on the web, where cyberspace is actual, the virtual reality that case and others can enter into. So have a glossary, that's gonna really get you into the story a little bit better. And then the last thing is just persevere. Just like any other science fiction story that has terms that you don't understand, if you read along and not get too caught up on the terminology, you'll still catch the plot of the story. And if you take these other steps that I'm talking about, you'll be really successful and you'll really enjoy this book. The book is phenomenal, it's a great story, there's a lot of suspense, there's a lot of what's gonna happen next, which I guess is suspense, right? And if you have any other ideas, just let them be known in the comments because I think that'll help everybody else out as well. Mike Everts, fit to be read, thank you. Please like this video, please subscribe to my channel and please click the notification bell so you can see the next videos I upload and watch and like those as well. Thank you.